I want to show you a few things in Dynamics 365 Business Central that will make working with vendors and customers just a little bit easier. I'm going to show you how you can change the vendor or customer number. You can combine vendors, you can combine customers, and you can have customers who are also vendors. We'll take a look at that. And finally, we'll look at importing customers or vendors using Excel. So let's get started. For this demonstration, I'm going to focus on vendors. Here's my vendor list. Let's open up the first vendor here. You can see here that the key field, the vendor number, is 10,000. If I needed to change that for some reason, maybe it was entered wrong, or I changed the way that I number my vendors, I can easily change it here. All I need to do is change it, tab off of it. I'm going to get this notification. What's nice about this is that it's not going to only change it on the master file. It's going to change all the records related to that master file. So let's go ahead and do that. So the vendor number has been changed. And if I look at the vendor, look at the ledger entries, all those ledger entries are all there. And the vendor number has been changed for all those transactions within the system. Now let's take a look at the situation where you've got two vendors in your system that are actually the same vendor and you want to combine records from both of those vendors in your system into one vendor. So let's do that. So what I have is one vendor here. And what I want to do is merge this with another vendor's data. So I'm going to go down here, merge. I'm going to select the other vendor with whom I want to merge the records. We'll choose this one right here. And what this does is it takes fields from both master records and shows them on this screen. And if I accepted this here, it would basically take all the fields from the primary record and replace them with the fields from the secondary record. And I would have one remaining vendor. If I look at these fields and there's anything that I want to override, I can just select it. So let's say I want to override the name of the vendor, but keep everything else the same. I can go ahead and then merge that, click on this, and now I have one surviving vendor where before I had two. This will allow you to consolidate vendors or customers for which you may have multiple instances. Here's my surviving vendor right here. And when I look at this and look at all the records, I'll have the, all the ledger entries from both vendors all together. And you can see that here. Another thing that might happen in your organization is you've got an entity which is both a vendor and a customer and it might be nice to see the vendor activity and the customer activity together. I'm going to create an entity that is both a customer and a vendor. And the easiest way to start that is to add a new contact. I've got a new contact here, Marshall Engineering. Let's open that up. This is just a contact. But what I can do from here is create this contact as a customer and a vendor. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's create a customer first. Customer has been created. Let's go back and then create a vendor as well. And now I have a vendor record from this contact. So if we look at the vendors, I now have this vendor record. And I would normally have the vendor balance right here. But also I've got a new field available that will have the balance from the customer. So let me enter a few transactions and get back. So now I've posted a couple transactions to this entity, Marshall Engineering, as a vendor and also as a customer. So as a vendor, we're looking at the vendor card here. I can drill down and see those transactions here. But also, because this particular vendor is also a customer, I can drill down on the customer records and see those as well here. So this combines records for entities that might be a customer as well as a vendor. I created these new vendors and customers from a contact that I just entered, but you can also link a contact to existing customers or vendors. There's a little more involved with it, but it's easy to do within Dynamics 365 Business Central. The next thing I wanted to show you is how you can easily import vendors or customers just using the Excel interface. So let's do that here. This is my vendor list. And what I want to do is edit this in Excel it's going to open up a new list in Excel and populate that with the data from Business Central. 
and give me a secure connection to that data. So this is the standard edit in Excel function within Business Central. But what I want to do now is I've got my existing vendors. I just want to add two more vendors. All I need to do is enter the information on the empty rows here. I'm just going to add these two vendors. And I can add additional information on this. I may want to add the address. So I've added two new vendors on this Excel worksheet. All I need to do now is publish this. And Business Central will automatically assign a vendor number to these new vendors and add them to the vendor master file. Let's take a look at that. And now I have my two new vendors right here in my vendor master file. It's easy to import. This is just one way you can get new vendors into the system. So in this demonstration, we looked at how you can change customer and vendor numbers and have that propagate through the entire system. We looked at combining customers and combining vendors to consolidate your master file records. And we looked at how you can add an entity that is a customer as well as a vendor. And we looked at a quick way to import new vendors into Dynamics 365 Business Central.